What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing off probably the most underrated starter of all time, Maginium. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. I'm sick of telling you guys. Seriously, if you're not subscribed to the channel, you might as well just leave this video. Over 60% of my viewers are not subscribed. So seriously, consider subscribing. It really does go a long way. But like I said, most underrated starter right here, Maginium. Really, really cool Pokemon. It looks like a dinosaur. And I love dinosaurs. I always loved dinosaurs as a kid. So Maginium checks out my book really cool pokemon has a nice big fly around in a sec and it's looking huge look how big this thing looks it just looks tough all around but we made this thing super super bulky so we're starting off with this item with the leftovers over here to get hp at the end of every single turn nature for this pokemon is going to be relaxed for a defensive boost evs are going to be hp and defense so we're just here to bulk up and outsaw pokemon throughout the battle Overgrow adds its ability, and the move set is Leech Seed to set up, Giga Drain to get more HP back, EQ for coverage, and protect just to protect our poor little Maginium. But cannot wait to showcase this Pokemon and showcase the power of this Pokemon as well. Because like I said, very underrated starter and very cool all around to use. Next Pokemon on the team is going to be Gyarados over here. Gyarados is just phenomenal in all different situations. We got Waterfall, we got Ice Fang, Dragon Dance to set up and protect for its fourth and final move. EVs, obviously, for this Pokemon, attack and speed with that intimidate ability. Nature's gonna be jolly, and last but not least, its item is going to be that lump so we can protect this, this Pokemon from status conditions. Third Pokemon on the squad is going to be Crobat. Nice little Tailwind support. Get some speed control with this Pokemon. Figgy Berry to get some HP when we fall below, I think, one fourth. I think it's one fourth. Nature for this Pokemon is going to be Adamant to give a nice little attack boost. EVs for this guy is going to be all over the place, mainly in attack, a little bit in special defense, a little bit in defense, a little bit in HP, and a tad bit in speed. So, like I said, all over the place with EVs. We will have that Poke Pace down in the description below for, the, for all of its EVs in depth. Inner Focus has its ability, and last but not least, its moveset is going to be Tailwind, Frost, Poison, Brave Bird, and Taunt to taunt opposing support mods. Gotta love this Pokemon. Really good at setting up speed control and really good at controlling like Trick Room teams and all that good stuff with that taunt move. Fourth Pokemon is going to be one of our heavy special attackers. That's going to be Rotom Wash over here. Thunderbolt, Hydro Pump, Nasty Plot to set up and protect. Fairly normal moveset. EVs for this guy. Like I said, he's here for special attacking. Special attack, speed with that levitate ability. Nature's going to be modest to give it that special attack boost. And last but not least, its item is going to be Citrus Spray to give it some HP when it falls below half. Is this the last Pokemon on the squad? It might be the last Pokemon on the squad. Let me give it a quick check. It is not the last Pokemon on the squad. Fifth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Scizor right here. Life Orb Pokemon for the team. Gave this thing the adamant nature. EVs are going to be attacking HP, obviously, with four in speed, just so we can outspeed other Scissors that have no EVs in speed. And last but not least, normal move set for Scissor. Do I even have to go over it? X Scissor, Bullet Punch, Sword Dance setup, and Protect for our final move. Last Pokemon on the squad is somebody who I really, really like. Really good Pokemon for competitive battles, but I haven't used them in the in BDSP yet, and that is Hitmontop over here. First of all, look at its animation. This thing is strutting, doing the two-step. Gotta love it, yo. This cracks me up every single time, so I cannot wait to just use this Pokemon just to see it dance like that on the field. It's hilarious. Cannot go wrong with it. Close combat for stab. Wide guard to protect us from double hitting moves. Fake out for flinches and helping hand to make ally Pokemon do a lot more damage. EVs for this guy, all over the place. We got HP, we got attack, we got special defense, we got speed. And I think we have a tad bit in defense. Maybe just a little bit in defense. But good thing about this Pokemon is it can fake out and it also learns the ability Intimidate that we are using. So we get physical attack drops every single time we hop into battle. Nature for this Pokemon is going to be adamant. And our final item is going to be the Black Belt for this Pokemon, which powers up fighting moves, which is our only hitting move, which is close combat. Guys, if you want to check out the team for yourself, you guys already know the deal. Pokey Pace will be down in the description below. It's got all the moves, all the EVs, all that good stuff. So definitely go check it out if you want to see anything about this team. But without further ado, let's hop onto that ladder. Look to get some wins with this Maginium double team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen, hopping into battle number one for today's video. Locking in Maginium. Cannot wait to use this Pokemon because you guys know I love using off-meta underrated Pokemon. But first battle, we're going up against a pretty cool team. He has Aerodactyl, Breloom, Swampert, Bronzong, probably for Trick Room, Rotom Heat, which I think we definitely have to watch out for. That's a scary mod up against our, our team. And then he has Spiritomb as his last Pokemon. But I have to be able to counter up uh, Rotom, so I am going to end up leading you, and I might lead Gyarados alongside with it. Gyarados just does a lot of work, so I really do like Gyarados, but I have to watch out for that Trick Room. But in this case, Maginium can just thrive on a Trick Room, so I'm going to go Gyarados turn 1, because I really do want to watch out for that Rotom. He is just so scary. He really is scary, and I might just bring in my Rotom. Actually, I might just leave my other my Rotom, just for that, that, that instance right there. The thing is, his Rotom does work on my Scizor, my Crobat, and my Gyarados, and my Maginium. It just does work all around, so I'm kind of scared of that. I could go him on top, which wouldn't be bad for Fake Out setup, and then go into a Leech Seed. I do dig that, but I might just want to lead a water Pokemon. 
Or I could leak Crobat. Crobat could be nice. Crobat can just set up Tailwind speed. Hmm. What is the Jeans player? I kind of like Gyarados as a lead. I really do like Gyarados here. So I am going to end up leading Gyarados. And I'm going to go into... Rotom. We're going to double down on the water. I really do like the water. And then last but not least, I kind of like Crobat here. It's Crobat or Scissor, definitely. Crobat or Skizzy. I kind of like Crobat. I'm not going to lie. But, you know, we got to bring our life. Actually, no, we're going to go Crobat. Like I said, Sock and Crobat. We'll, we'll leave Skizzer in the back end. And then uh, we'll leave him on tap back there as well. But hopefully we can get our Maginium set up and roll out here in battle number one. Let's see who he leads. He's going to end up leading these two guys. So Breedlim's going to come out here alongside Maginium. And I think I just set up a Leech Seed, right? I could Leech Seed and Protect. Which might be my play. I'm liking Leech Seed Protect because Intimidate's going to come out here on two physical attackers. He does have Rock Slide, I'm guessing, with Aerodactyl. So I think I just set up a Leech Seed and roll off from there. Right? Let's Leech Seed up here. And protect Gary, or do I just go into an ice bag? I can do a lot. I'm gonna protect Gary, or I can D dance. But no, we're gonna protect him. I'm gonna try to get this lead sheet off. If he wants to go into a sport, he can try to go into a sport. He could sword dance as well, because a lot of Breelooms do run sword dance. So we do have to watch out for that. The guy just protects. Rock Slide is gonna poke here. Maginium is gonna be able to soak it up all day as this thing is intimidated, alongside with this thing's just defensively. Like, look at that. Look how much that's, this thing eats. He's gonna go for a bold seed. We soak up all day. So lovely protect turn one, and hopefully we connect this lead sheet. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Maginium getting started off strong. So this thing's seeded. Um, in this case, uh, what do I do? Do I double down into the... Uh, do I double down into that Breloom? I could double down into Breloom. I do like that turn. I do like that turn. Doubling down into Breloom could be the play. Because A, that thing is Intimidate. So it will not kill my Gyarados unless it crits. So I think we just double down just in case this thing is sashed. If not, then Giga Drain's going to slide over. So this is going to be our play. All day. Hopefully he protects Aerodactyl or maybe just swaps him. Because Leech Seed does, that, does do that a lot. It forces swaps. Yep, there's a swap. And it's going to be Breloom. So Breloom is going to end up getting swapped. And who's he going to go into? Whom are you going into? Spirit Tomb. And Spirit Tomb's not going to be able to eat it up as much as uh, I think he wants to. He's going to end up protecting. So great turn by us, yo. Great turn by us. Loving it, dude. Doubling down into the slot. The slot that he's not protecting. Ice Fang coming out here. And Giga Drain's going to poke here as well. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So chipping away. We could have set up a dragon dance. And I think now's the time to set up a dragon dance. I honestly think now's gonna be the time to set up a dragon dance. Or I could just straight up waterfall. Hmm. As much as I think he's gonna swap. You think he's gonna swap? I think we just dragon dance here. Or do I just keep this guy in here and go for a waterfall? Honestly, like we can waterfall and KO here, but. We could Dragon Dance and set up for the match. I think I'm just going to Waterfall. I think I'm going to play this one safe. Actually, you know, we're going to keep that Aerodactyl. We're going to Waterfall and we're going to take out the... Uh... We're going to Waterfall and we're going to take out this uh, this Spear Tomb here. We're going to keep Leechy down in the fields. And he's going to end up setting up a Stealth Rocks. I'm fine with that. I am really am fine with that. Honestly, kind of a waste turn. I could have just set up a Dragon Dance. It could have been easy. But Waterfall is going to poke out here. We're going to pick up the KO. And we still have Leech Seed going on Aerodactyl. I do not mind leaving Aerodactyl in here. But right now, considering it is minus one. And I have Leech Seed set up. So it's keeping my Magnetium just flowing in with HP. Just flowing HP. Okay, so now that I know we outspeed. I might just KO that Aerodactyl now. Go into Waterfall and set up Leech Seed on the next slot. Unless he brings out Rotom. Rotom could definitely be scary. Like I said, that's the Pokemon we have to watch out for. Is Rotom. Rotom he is a scary little mom. But we do have our other Rotom in the back. He's going to bring back out Breloom, and in this case, I cannot Leech Seed onto that. So, I could Protect. He could Bolt Seed me. Hmm. That's my play. We do have Lumberry, don't we? Yeah, we're rocking Lumberry with him, so Dragon Dance could be player. You know, I'm just going to Giga Drain finish off you, and I'm going to... Mm, do I Ice Fang? Good Ice Fang. Good Ice Fang. Yeah, let's, let's Ice Fang this thing. Let's do it. Let's do him dirty here. He's going to go straight for a Mach Punch. That's easy eats. That is easy, Joe. Our team's thriving. Maginium's out here playing no games. Maginium dodges. Hopefully, uh, we should be able to eat that up. Yeah, beautiful. Intimidate's just soaking up. And Maginium's just a, it's just a straight unit. He dodges my Ice Fang. That's whack. And we're going to take out this guy and get get our HP back. So that's low. We get Giga Drain HP and then alongside with a left turn. I'm telling you guys, yo, Maginium, do not play around with this guy. He can rip. He's so bulky, especially up against physical attackers. So that's why I kind of built a team around Intimidate Mons. We have two of them. We can roll out strong with this. 
So we could do some big damage onto us. Uh, what do I do here? I'm gonna seed this Rotom. I'm gonna at least go for a seed here. And I'm gonna go for this uh this waterfall. We're gonna double down into Rotom here. And just see what he does. So if I had to guess he's mock punching. But our character should be able to eat it up. So he does not mock punch. He might be going for a bolt seed. And waterfall comes out here. Takes out Rotom. That's GG's. That is GG's. That is GG's. Elite seed isn't gonna affect uh Breloom. And we start off really, really strong here. Gotta love it. Gotta love it, yo. Mackinium does not go down in battle number one. It's just here. It's not doing a lot of damage. It's just here to pester, lead seed, Giga Drain, and bulk through shots. So anytime I see physical uh, attacking ally Pokemon, I'm going in with Maginium and I'm getting after it that way. So I can bulk up shots. I can lead seed set up. I can come in with Intimidates and just roll off. But we can bring Crobat out in this back end. We got Cross Poison. We got Brave Bird. It is over with. It is over with. Look at it. Maginium's at full health too. Plays no games. Reloom stands no chance because you can't put him to sleep. Like if this was a 1v1, Maginium would... Just, just dominate. It will put him to. You can't put Mag Maginium to sleep. It won't be able to do enough damage with Mach Punch or, or Bullet Seed. It's just lovely all around. But Cross Poison is going to come out here. It's going to pick up this KO unless this guy cancels. Nope. Cross Poison flies out here. So this thing sashed. Ooh, doesn't even need a sash. Doesn't even need a sash. Just bulk through it. Just bulk through it, and he's going to spore up on my poor little Crobat. But Maginium is going to come out here for a final shot. Loving it. Actually, I'm glad you spored my Crobat. I want my Maginium to actually finish you off. Loving it. Maginium used Giga Drain, and there it is. Match number one in the bag. Grab ourselves a win here for our first battle. Our first battle went pretty well, not gonna lie. Got Maginium out there, didn't die one bit. Leech seeded up and won ourselves a battle, but we're hopping into battle number two here. Going up against, did I burst this guy before? Why does this team look so familiar? I feel like, was this the guy I burst with my, uh, what's it called team? With my Swift Swim Floatzel team? It sure looks like it. It definitely does look like it, so... Hopefully we can actually get some revenge here, because I believe he beat me because he had Focus Ash on that Garchomp. I believe he is Focus Ash on the Garchomp, so definitely got to watch out for that. I, I'm, if, if I remember correctly, right? Switch some team. I killed its, uh, its Zapdos with a Volt Switch. I Volt Switch into my Rain and then uh, Waterfall into it. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool that we're versing the same opponent. Hopefully we grab ourselves a win here in battle number two and look to go back to the back. I could lead Maginium, but I do think he's going to lead potentially that... uh. That, what's it called right there? That's Zapdos, which could be scary. So, you know what? I could go in the Rotom. Or, you know what? We're going to leave him on top here. I think him on top could be really, really lovely here. We go for Fake Out and Control that way, and then we can just get after it. So, I'm going to go you. I could go Maginium. Maginium's not bad, but he does have flying moves. Like, flying moves are tough, man. I definitely want to bring in Maginium, but probably not going to lead it. Could go Scissor. Maybe set up Sword Dance and get rolling with that. Maginium's going to come in here, and the Gyarados in the back end? I do really like Gyarados here. He could lead Pachirisu, who could, who could definitely be scary. That Chirisu could be scary. Hmm. Is that my play here? That's my play? Let's rock it. Let's do it. Let's lock this one down. Let's grab ourselves a win here. Let's go back to back. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the same exact guy that I versed. I don't remember the dude's name, but I just remember this team. This exact team. Is he going to lead Pachirisu and Zapdos? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's the same guy. It's Discharge and Bolt. Absorb. So you know what? We're here for revenge. We're on a revenge tour. Hitmon Top and Scissor is going to come out here. Let's get rocking out with this. I could fake out the... Uh, he does not fake out on Pachirisu. I'm going to fake out the Zapdos, and I might just hit this Pachirisu. I might just hit this Pachirisu here. And I, he doesn't know I have Wide Guard. He does not know I have Wide Guard. So you know what? We're just going to fake out you. I am going to Swords Dance here. I am going to Swords Dance here. Let's see Let's see how he plays this one out, because we do have Wide Guard on. We do have Wide Guard, which is awesome. Which is really, really good. So I'm digging it. I'm digging this. We're going to fake out the Zip Zap. And I wonder what he's going to do with Pachirisu. I think he might protect somebody. So, we, oh, he just switched all his Zapdos. So that's a cool turn for us. That's a cool turn for us. He's going to send out Hip Powder. Hippo's coming out here. He plays no games. Luckily, my Scissor does not take any damage to the Sandstream. And that works fine for us because we are setting up this lovely, lovely, lovely towards Dance here. And what's Pachirisu going for? Probably Super Fang, right? A nuzzle. He's going to nuzzle me. Okay, that's fine. So he's going to slow us down. We still have Bullet Punch. We just got to hope the, pow the Paralyze doesn't really do anything to us. And Hippowdon, I think, has a fire move. I'm not even going to lie. I think Hippowdon might have a fire move. Oh, we were paralyzed that turn? That's whack. That's actually really whack. We were paralyzed that turn. And I'm, I think Hippowdon has a fire move. If I remember this dude's team correctly, I believe it has a fire move. So that's why he did bring it out here. Now we're sitting here. I could just go into close combat, which I might do in this patch of Risu because I really don't feel like dealing with this. And I am going to protect the scissor. Hopefully we're not paralyzed here because, again, I think this thing has a fire move all day. 
I think Singer's ready to rock with a fire move. Tech comes out here. We're not paralyzed. Lovely. Which we would have got a short stance up. And what's he going to go for here? Patrice goes for Nuzzle. And he's just paralyzing my team. He's just paralyzing control. Really good strategy with uh with you right there. Hippowdon's going to go for Fire Fang. And I knew it, dude. I remember correctly. This thing has Fire Move. Fire Fang. I thought it was Fire Punch. But it's all good. Close Comet's going to fly through here. We're getting off some huge damage on the Patrice. So that's really good for us. So I could hard swap you. Um, I might hard swap both. Let's see how this one plays out. This thing is rocking with the berry. So I could go for another close combat, which I might do. And just hard swap the skizzy. Right? He's gonna get buffed it. Another close combat will take you out. But I could come in with the Gary. Gary could be nice here. But he's just gonna nuzzle me, man. I do have Lumberry. I do have Lumberry ready to roll. So you know what? We're gonna go in close combat here. We are gonna go into Gyarados here. I could go into Maginium. You like Maginium. <laughs> Maginium's nice, but if he is going into that fire move. Maginium is going to take some big damage there, but it is really bulky on the defense end. So let's swap the scissor. We're going to be paralyzed all around, and hopefully this hit my top. Can just take out this patch of here and just get rid of the nuzzles. We're not dealing with it. And I would like him to have a wide guard, so I might want to swap out my, uh, my hit my top in a little bit. So let's see how this one plays. He's going to end up going for a protect. You buttery biscuit, dude. And I don't mind if he goes for a nuzzle. Because, again, we are Lumberry. Hit Paladon's going to set up a stealth rock. Smart play by him. Reason my protect. Or my uh my leave there. And we can be able to do that. So what I think is gonna happen here is Hippowdon's gonna go for a move, try to do some damage. We are gonna go for another close combat, take out the Pachirisu. And I think this uh This Pachirisu goes for a nuzzle onto my Gyarados, which we're just gonna lumber you all. That's gonna be our play. That's gonna be our play. So close combat coming in hot. Coming in hot, baby, and do we D-dance at this point? I might D-dance set up. I think now's the time to D-Dance set up. Yeah. I'm with the D-Dance set up here. He's going to withdraw the hip out on. I'm cool with that. And who's he going to go into from here? Zapdos maybe? Yeah. And what he doesn't know is we're rocking wide guard. I'm ready to send it. I'm ready to send a wide guard. Hopefully we're not paralyzed this turn and we can get off close combat. Nuzzle should come through here. All right, Dragon Dance is going to come through. Nuzzle is going to come through and then we need close combat to land. We need close combat to land here. There's a nuzzle. Yep, saw that coming all day. Lumberry coming in here, and this I don't care about my hit my top missing another move. We need it to connect here. We need it to connect here. Because if not, then my Gyarados gets nuzzled next turn, and he's just going to protect and do it. Let's go, hit my top. All day, baby. All day. Hit my top comes through here. Lumberry clutching up. We use our Lumberry to perfection, and we have a nice, lovely Dragon Dance setup. So we're sitting in a great position here. Great position here. We still have Maginium in the back, and I'm kind of worried about that Zapdos if we don't get rid of this Maginium. But I do think this charge are going to fly, and he's going to bring back out Hip on. If he brings back a Hippowdon, we know he's going for straight discharge. And in this that case, I can just wide guard to kind of go from there. That is my play. I'm liking where we're sitting. We are Dragon Dance set up. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And I want to get this Maginium in, in the back end. He goes into Garchomp. So Garchomp, same thing. He can go into discharges for free. That thing is Sash. We do know that. And in this case, I'm just going to wide guard. Now, I might trigger Sash. Do I trigger Sash or do I just take out Zapdos? Matt, can you could do some work up against Garchomp? I think we just waterfall this thing down, right? What's Garchomp going to go for? Maybe a rock slide? And if he does, yo, that's wide guard it up. We can't be paralyzed, though. I know, watch, I know we're going to be paralyzed, and he's going to go for discharge. And he's going to go for rock slide. It's going to be awful. He withdraws Zapdos, and we're going for a waterfall into Hit Powdown, which is lovely. It's going to be some nice damage here. It's going to be some nice damage. Wide guard is going to come out here, and is he going for a rock slide? I can kind of hope for that. And I might swap into my scissor here. Might swap into my scissor. So we go into this. Built. Getting off some big damage. And he could sword stance up. This could be a problem here. Goes for the rock slide. And the Y guard is clutching up. So in this case, I am just going to hard swap. I think I just hard swap here. Keep my intimidate for later. Because intimidate could be good. And fake out with him out top could be good. And keep my, keep my Gyarados in here. So in this case, we are just going to swap into a swap into Maganium here. Maganium could be good. Yeah, we're going to swap into Maganium here. And then we're just going to Ice Fang and trigger this thing's focus there. So like I said, we know what this guy's rocking with. We're on Revenge Tour here. We're on Revenge Tour. We need another Intimidate, so we're going to swap out you. And we're getting our Maganium out into the battle, baby. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Stealth Rocks is going to chip away some damage, but we're cool with that. Our time's going to protect. I'm fine with that. I can just go into Giga Drain on Hip on. Kind of rock out from there. Ice Fang's going to get blocked. Again, we know that thing's focus there. And what's he going to go for with Hip on? He's going to yawn me. So he ends up yawning me. I could hard swap from the, at this point. 
But in this case, I feel like we get off some damage here. I feel like we get off some damage. I feel like we have to get off some damage. So he's probably going into the rock slide, but he cannot protect that guard chomp anymore. So I think he's going to use up the sash, and in this case, we just go get the drain, right? Could double down into it and get rid of it. But again, we have fake out rolling, so, you know, I'm just going to go for his ice fang. Rock out in that slot. He might swap him. We'll see. If Gyarados goes to sleep, he goes to sleep. We still have two great back end Pokemon. Ice fang coming out here. Yoink. Get off some huge damage. And it is the same exact team. I, I told you guys. I told you guys. Focus Sash Garchomp. We're on a revenge tour here. And we get a freeze. That's lovely. Let's go. He thought out. What you mean? <laughs> Rock Side comes through here. Can you eat that up, Gyarados? You do. That's lovely. Meganium obviously soaks that up all day. And does it outspeed? It does outspeed a Hippowdon. For a KO? For oh dude, I thought that was KO win. I thought that was KO. It's good to know we outspeed. We get a bunch of HP back. And this is even going for fire move, probably. Which we should be able to soak up. Fire Fangs can come out here. Soak up. <sighs> Easy. Yo, light work for Maginio. But you get a burn. What you mean? Come on, yo. This game trash. We're gonna go to sleep here. Um, he's probably gonna take me out. You could protect. Uh, do I take out the hip out on? Hmm. What's that player? I think I would take out the hip out on. I think we take out the hip out on. Go to sleep. Oh, this is tough, dude. <laughs> okay, so we go to sleep. I have him on top in the back. I think he's just gonna drop rock slides to double down into me. Hmm. So in this case, we're gonna go into you. And I think, you know, we'll, we'll just go for the ice fang if we can. Let's see how this one plays out. Gyarados is slumped. He's dropping the slide. He's gotta be dropping rock slide, right? Our chop goes for rock slide. Gyarados drops down. That's totally fine. Meganium's gonna be able to soak up whatever they have to offer. And Giga James can come out here and take out the hip out on. And then who do we bring out from here? I could save my hip on top. He flinched, bro. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? You should be dead. You should be dead. This thing should be dead. This thing should be dead. Okay. I'm gonna save my fake out. I'm saving my fake out turn and my intimidate. I'm just gonna bring out scissor here. Things should be dead. This Hippowdon should be gone in the dumpsters. It should be dead. Scissor's gonna come out here. Uh, do we bring out Scissor or do we go and hit my top and just go? Dang game. Dang game. What do we do? What do we do? We're paralyzed on each end. Are we gonna lose this battle because of the stupid flinches, man? <laughs> like, Hippowdon should be dead. All right, so we're gonna bring out hit my top here. That's my final decision. We're gonna intimidate, which is lovely. Great. I could set up a seed, but I think just going into Giga Drain is definitely your play. So we're going to Giga Drain on the hip out on. And I could fake it out as well, thinking that Garchomp's going to go for that protect. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Or I could help in hand. No, we're going we're gonna to make this thing flinch. I think Garchomp protects. I really do. I'm on top's doing a slow strut. Look how slow his strut is now that he's paralyzed. That's hilarious. <laughs> but dude, show me that Garchomp protects. Are you kidding me? Or maybe he thinks we're going for a wide run. I think Garchomp is going to protect. Like, we have that fake out. I think he's definitely going to try to block that. So, if we can double down and get off some damage on this pound on, we could really be thriving here. Protect, come out here. Show me protect. Yeah, yeah, all day, yo. Your boy Jeans is reading you. We're reading you hard here. We're, of course. Like, dude, of course. Just our RNG today. Our RNG is awful. Giga Jeans can come out here. Give me a crit. No crit, but we get off some mean damage. And what is Hip on going for? What is Hip on going for here? Another slack off, dude. It's game. It's game. It's game. Okay, so in this case, we are just going to go into a close combat. We are going to try to take out this, uh, this Garchomp. And we're just going to keep Giga Draining it into this, uh, Definitely reply here. Definitely reply here. We're like, are you kidding me? <laughs> this thing should have been flinched and we should have been able to take it out yet again. RNG's doing us real dirty. So close combat's going to fly through here. We are going to finish off the... We are going to finish off the Garchomp. And we're just going to keep pressure onto this, what's called... On this hip out on. I'm with it all day. He's intimidated, so I don't really see him taking out any of any of my Pokemon. Definitely not my Maginium. And I don't, I don't think he's gonna take out my hit my top unless he gets a lucky crit, dude. His RNG is thriving right now. Mine is hot garbage. It's just in the garbage, man. We're flinching. It's just awful. He's gonna withdraw the hip out on. I'm cool with that. Imagine if I would have set up a lead seed. We're gonna he's gonna go in the Zapdos, and I could just start wide guarding. See what this guy's gonna go for. He has a flying moves, which is kind of tough for us. He's gonna go for a Dragon Ball. Should be able to eat that up, right? And we have our Citrus Berry. Lovely. Citrus Berry is going to come through here. Actually, no. We have Black Belt. We have Black Belt. I thought we had Citrus Berry for a second. 
If we do a black belt, we're gonna be able to take out Garchomp here, no problem. Unless we miss, yo, I swear. Unless we're paralyzed, dude! I can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. Okay, we're gonna have to protect our Maginium. We know he's gonna come in hot for some damage. Oh my lord, dude! Can't do it anymore. I can't do it. I can't deal with it. I can't do it. We're, we're gonna lose this match because of this. We do have Bullet Punch ready to roll. How do I set up a seed? I am gonna try to set up a seed here. And I guess we'll go for this. Maybe he thinks for Y Garden. Let's see. He goes for EQ. Oh, we could have Y Guard it. We could have Y Guard here. EQ's gonna poke here. And him on top survives. Him on top survives. That's lovely. And what's he going for? A discharge? Hyper Beam's coming in here. Is that going after? Go after Maganium, please. Maganium, eat that up. Your, your, your house. Your, your truck. Loving it. Leechy comes in here. I'm sorry. I, I can't do. Like, what do you guys want me to do? What do you what do you guys want me to do? We should have won this match. We played phenomenally. We missed and we paralyzed three in a row. Three in a row. Just th just think. Yo, just just think here. Just think for an easy second. He has to recharge. Garchomp's dead. Just think. Garchomp's dead. He has to recharge. We have a lead seed set up. We outspeed. We Giga Drain on the hip powder. It is over with. Oh my lord, we lose this battle. We lose this battle. That's some rough news. That's some rough news. I'm just going to run it, dude. Our RNG is just in the trash here. Technically, we should have won. We outplayed this guy like crazy. We really did. But, you know, we're one and one. Let's go grab ourselves a winning record. I don't think I ever outplayed an opponent more and lost a battle. I can't believe we lost that one. We read some protects. We were making some good plays. We should have had the lead seed set up there. But we were paralyzed three turns in a row. Three. That is some nuts RNG. And we were paralyzed plenty of times before that. It was just getting out of hand. It was really just getting out of hand, but hey, we're hopping into that third and final battle. Let's grab ourselves a winning record here. Going up against a pretty cool team right here. He's got Latios, Magnezone, Kangaskhan, probably Silk Scarf Kangaskhan with Fake Out. He also has another Fake Out user with Weavile, Metagross, and then Crobat for its final month. So we could go Crobat here for a nice little lead here. I am kind of like a Meganium. Meganium's really good, but he's probably going to lead that Latios, which is a little scary. Latios is definitely a little scary here. I could go him on top for Fake Out Control. We go Meganium for a nice little lead here. Which I think Maginium is going to be great here. Just setting up Leech Seed and kind of just stalling out. He has a decent amount. Well, a few physical attackers. Four of them, but one's clear body with the Metagross. Um, hmm. Who else do I go into here? I mean, Scissor could be pretty nice. Scissor can do some work. I do I do always like me some Scissor. So I am going to end up maybe leading Scissor. Because if he leads Weavile, that could be really good for us. But I think Latios is probably going to get the lead, right? Latios definitely gets the lead, right? If I had to guess, Latios gets the lead. So I'm going to go in. Oh, I could go Crobat, but no. Again, if Latios gets the lead, that's tough news for us. I'm going to bring Rotom in the back end. And then last but not least, we're going to need an Intimidate Mod. So it's either going to be Gyarados or Hitmon Top. And I'm leaning more towards Gyarados here. That's because Gyarados is a way better physical attacker. So let's go in with Gyarados here. Let's lock it in. Let's grab ourselves a winning record. But dude, I can't believe it. I had everything planned out at the end there. Just think. Like, I, this is how I was thinking. At the end there. Wait, wait. What happened? We were paralyzed. And... And he hyper beamed. So he hyper beamed. He had the recharge. Our close combat should have came in there, killed the guard chomp. Guard chomp should have been dead. We'd lead sheet set up. We're getting some constant stream of HP with our leftovers and our uh, lead sheet. Then we outspeed the uh, hip out on. So we get off a free giga drain. We get more HP back that way. Him on top can just do some damage over onto uh, Zapdos. And it pretty much turns into like a 2v1 situation because then we can bring out uh, Scissor in the back end who could just bullet punch and take out hip out on however low it is. And then we were just thriving there. Definitely should have won that one. A little rough, but he's going to end up going in with these two, which I'm kind of cool with. I might end up protecting you because I know you can probably eat up a shot. Actually, I could just hard swap you. I think I'm going to hard swap and maybe just sword stance up. Because he could go straight for a Brave Bird here. I'm going to sword stance here. It's going to be my play. I'm going to sword stance alongside with a uh, a swap into Intimidate. Like I said, Metagross is definitely clear body, but an Intimidate on this uh, Crowback could be really good. Because I do think it's going to go for a straight Brave Bird instead of a Tail one. I do dig it. I do dig it. Meganium's gonna swap. I do not want my poor Meganium to take a hard shot right off the rip. Even though, like I said, it's defensive bulk. It's just absolute bulk. And then we can set up a lovely little sword dance to get after your battle this way. That thing's inner focus. Dang it. Totally forgot I was inner focus. We know this thing's clear body. Forgot about inner focus. So inner focus pops out here and he's just gonna go for a screecher. And Gyarados dodges it. That's a good, that's a good dodge here. And he's just gonna go for go for a meteor match, which we soak up. Loving it. Loving it, loving it. And we get off a free swords dance. 
a free Swords Dance this turn. And this dude gets the boost on it. He gets the attack boost. Come on, man. We don't like that one bit. The attack boost comes out here. I think that thing really poses a threat to us. Hmm. Hmm. What's that play here? Waterfall. Waterfall, maybe go for a flinch. I and mean, then we could just bullet punch here. I could just bullet punch. Or I could just go for a straight X scissor. And double down into you. But I am going to bullet punch over into this bat. This lovely little bat. Bull punch in a 5-3 here. Because I do think it's going to try to set up a tailwind. And that's some huge damage. Get that thing out my game. Get that thing out my game. Like I said, we're getting ourselves a winning record here. I'm not playing around anymore. We should have we should have been on track for a perfect record. We were thriving today. Hopefully get a flinch here. Waterfall pokes through. Get off some damage. Give me a flinch. Oh, yes, sir. Give me my RNG back. Thank you. My RNG is starting to come back a little bit. It's making up for that last match there. Big old flinch onto that Metagross. God, I love it. And then who's going to send out here? Because I could go back into Mackinium at this point. Really good. So he was trying to get a Screech off on me, which uh, Screech could have been deadly. Could have been deadly because that Meteor Mash would have did some more damage, but I don't think it would have killed me. Considering it was not very effective onto Garuda, so like him where we're sitting. He's going to send out his next Pokemon. Now, is this Kangaskhan? It is going to be Kangaskhan. So Kangaskhan pokes out here. Totally cool with that. I should just say we go into another Waterfall here, and I might... He does have Fake Out Raider Roll. I'm gonna double. I'm gonna double down into this Metagross here. He's gonna fake out one of my Pokemon, so we'll see who he fakes out. Yeah, fake out's gonna poke here. Going into Scissor. I was gonna protect him, but I want to go for a shot. Waterfall's gonna poke here, and we're going for back-to-back -back flinches here. Here, this one's for you guys. Back-to-back -back flinches. Oh, oh, my RNG coming back. My RNG is back. <laughs> my RNG is playing no games here. We're gonna go for three flinches going over to Kangaskhan, and this dude brought six Pokemon, and he quit battle. He quit battle. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Our RNG's back. We'll take that perfect record all day. Out of all the Pokemon that I showcased in BDSP, I think I had the most fun using Magnetium. This Pokemon was so much fun to use. I absolutely love it. Defensively bulk, set up some Leech Seeds, got after it that way. Gotta love it. But I know at the end of the third battle, I set a perfect record. I meant to say winning. You grabbed yourselves a winning record today. Went two and one. First battle went perfectly. Got Magnetium out there. Leech Seed up. All that good stuff. Second battle went really well. We got to showcase this team really, really well. Outplayed our opponent amazingly. But, you know, RNG was just not on our side. He got a few paralyzes, got a lot of flinches, thawed out in one turn, just all that crazy stuff. Ended up giving our opponent the victory. And the third and final battle was just short and sweet. He brought six Pokemon. We got a little bit of RNG luck with our waterfalls, and the guy just ended up quitting. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.